22 Interesting, Helpful and Fun Facts About Molise in Italy The Italian region of Molise, Molise is Italy's newest region since 1963, when it separated from Abruzzo. It's about 60 miles northeast of Naples, and about 100 miles southeast of Rome. Being the second smallest region in Italy, after Valle d'Aosta, it's a region dominated by the lush, green hills of the Apennine mountain range that runs into the Adriatic Sea on its eastern coastline. So, what makes Molise attractive to visitors? On the face of it, there's nothing particularly outstanding about Molise, as most people haven't heard of it, most people don't pronounce it correctly, and most Italians have never visited it. But that's its very unique form of attractiveness, an unspoilt, undiscovered gem of Italy. And it's because of this that makes it appealing for those searching for la dolce vita, the sweet life. To help you find out why Molise is such an undiscovered gem, watch this video, where you'll discover 22 interesting, helpful and fun facts about Molise in Italy, as follows. Number 1. Geography. The geographical area of Molise is over 4,400 square kilometers, about 1,700 square miles. The region is sandwiched between Abruzzo to the north and Puglia in the southeast on the Adriatic coast, with Lazio to the west and Campania to the south. Number 2. National Parks. There's only one national park of note, the Abruzzo, Lazio, and Molise National Park. However, owing to its variety of climates and ecosystems dominated by the Apennine Mountains and woodlands that cover nearly 40% of the region. It is an area of outstanding beauty, being home to numerous species and birds of prey. Number 3. A Brief History of Molise As Molise was very much a part of Abruzzo, its fairly recent history aligns with its regional neighbor. However, the original people of Molise were called Samnites, an independent people who were in conflict with ancient Rome. They spoke their own language and lived a life with a great emphasis on humanity and family virtues. As their political structure was based on a democratic system of independent districts the Pagus, it was at odds to the city-state system of the Romans, strongly influenced by established wealthy dynasties. The opposing lifestyles inevitably led to war, and it took three wars with the Romans between 343 and 290 BC for the Romans to overcome the Samnites. Even in 1860, the population opposed the troops of Garibaldi leading up to the eventual unification of Italy in 1861, when it became part of Abruzzo. Emigration has always been a problem with Molise, and both the First and Second World Wars brought further destruction and hardship to the people and local economies. The area has never been a productive region, and its economy has always faltered and stuttered. Today's territory is more or less an outline of the original ancient territory of the Samnites. The Molise region takes its name from a small fortified medieval duchy near Compobasso. Number 4. The Economy. Molise is also one of Italy's and Western Europe's poorest regions. The region lacks good quality agricultural land and is blighted by net emigration. Industrial development has been low, despite various attempts by government. However, the rise of tourism and service industries, such as food and clothing, appears to be having more success, subject to recent worldwide health events. Number 5. The Provinces of Molise. Compobasso and Isernia are the two provinces in the region. Number 6. The Population. The region has a population of about 350,000. Number 7. The Capital City of Molise. Compobasso, the city, is the capital of Molise. It's situated between two rivers, 700 meters above sea level. And, it has a population of about 50,000 people. Number 8. The language. The primary language of Molise is the standard Italian language, spoken with a Neapolitan dialect. Number 9. Molise's minority groups. Since the 15th century, Molise has had an Albanian population that speaks Arboresh. Four local towns including Campo Marino, are collectively known as Little Albania. Number 10. Mountain Ranges. The highest mountain in the region is La Meta, found in the Isernia province, with an altitude of nearly 2,200 meters, about 7,200 feet. Molise, therefore, is a region to visit for those who love the outdoor active life, and who also want a typical authentic Italian experience. 
Number 11. The climate. Considering the size of Molise, it displays all four weather seasons and climate seen in Italy, with harsh winters and heavy snowfalls in the north of the region, to the mild temperatures along the coast. The mountainous region is suited for the enjoyment of everyone with warm summer nights lasting into September, whilst snow descends on the peaks by November. Owing to Molise's climate being unsuitable for grazing animals during the winter, shepherds use paths called trattori to move their animals to greener pastures at the end of summer and at the beginning of spring. If you're wanting to visit, work and live in Italy, quickly check out the ongoing collection of news, reports, resources and courses on this channel that'll make your introduction to expat life in Italy. And la dolce vita. Even sweeter. It's so easy. Just click on the subscribe button below, and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you don't miss out on future videos being uploaded. Plus, watch this video to the very end where you'll get access to a special report packed full of helpful ideas for when you visit, or consider living in Italy. And now for 11 more interesting, helpful and fun facts about Molise. Number 12. White Truffles. These grow in the mountains of both the provinces of Compobasso and Isernia, where it's estimated that about 60% of the whole truffle production in Italy comes from. Number 13. Airports. There's no airport in Molise, just 40 kilometers of motorway running along the coast, with two major roads running through the region. However, the region can be reached by train from Rome or Naples, which takes about two hours. Public transport is a bit limited, so it's best to hire a car and scooter to explore the region. Number 14. UNESCO Heritage Sites Despite the ancient architecture in Molise being on a par with, and said to rival Rome's, the region is one of just a few in Italy that has no designated world UNESCO heritage sites. A good example is Seopinum, a provincial Roman town, at Altilia in the Compobasso province, that's often referred to as Molise's Little Pompeii, where you can explore the remains that include artisan shops, thermal baths, a theater and a basilica. Number 15. The Trattori. These are nature trails followed by pastoral farmers during the seasonal rotation of herding between summer and winter pastures. Livestock are shepherded down from the cool mountain pastures of Abruzzo, and down to the warmer land and climate of Puglia, via Molise. Today, about 1,500 kilometers of 12 Trattori trails cover the Molise region, great for hikers and bikers exploring the countryside, and for discovering villages and historical sites of interest. Number 16. Rings a bell. Molise can still pride itself on a wide variety of ancient traditional crafts, and it's also home to the oldest continuously family-owned and run manufacturing company in the world, the Fonderia Marinelli, Bell Foundry, founded more than 1,000 years ago. Number 17. The Ghost Towns. Many villages and small towns throughout Molise have been abandoned as a result of earthquakes and emigration. Number 18. Places to see in Molise. 1. Compobasso. The city has an historic center which revolves around the Monforte Castle, and it has many churches and Romanesque palaces along the Riemenbronze Avenue. The modern-day version of Compobasso was designed in the 19th century in accordance with the ideal of a garden city, and this is reflected in its large green spaces, making it an attractive place to live. 2. Isernia. Isernia, the region's second city, has an ancient history, as evidenced by numerous archaeological sites. There's also evidence of Roman domination including the Roman aqueduct, which is still operational today. 3. Termoli. Termoli, the third largest city of Molise, is a port and fishing town, as well as being the most popular seaside resort in the region. Most of the tourism is from Naples and Puglia. You can also reach the Tremiti Islands, part of the Puglia region, from here. Perched on a promontory, Termoli is a medieval town surrounded by crystal clear water with beaches sheltering Trabocchi, typical for this stretch of coast along Abruzzo and Molise. Trabocchi are 19th century built platforms on stilts, just where the beach meets the sea, which use big nets to catch fish without having to fish from a boat. Many have been turned into restaurants, using the day's catch to place on the menu. 4. The Winterline Museum. The small town of Vernofro is home to the Winterline Museum, an amazing collection of World War II equipment, memorabilia and artifacts. 
it's a constant reminder of the hardship of what life was like during the war. The surrounding mountains were the scene of some of the harshest and fiercest fighting of the war, being the crossing of German defensive lines by the Allied troops during the winter of 1943, in the run-up to the famous battle for Monte Cassino, southeast of Rome. 5. The National Museum of Bagpipes Bagpipes are found in the town of Scapoli. Shepherds carried and played the sheepskin-made Samponia, which are still made today. A national museum was opened in 2002, where you can see bagpipes from all around the world displayed. 6. The Cenozoic Park This is an area in the hills of Molise recognized for its array of outstanding sedimentary rocks, reckoned to be about 66 million years old. As well as being ideal for climbing, biking and hiking, there are also 10 pretty villages to visit and explore. 7. Remote Mountain Villages Most of Molise's population live in remote mountain villages. They were built and perched at the top of the mountains, which makes for very unique and stunning landscapes. Number 19. People, Music and the Arts Well-known people born in, or with a family connection to Molise, include 1. The world-famous actor, Robert De Niro. His great-grandparents came from a small town near Compobasso, called Ferrazzano, before they sought a new life in New York, where he was born. 2. The opera singer and film star, Mario Lanza. His father traveled to the US from the Molise region when he was 17 years old, where Mario was born in Philadelphia. The great singer is remembered every year at a festival in his honor held in the Isernia province. Number 20. Major events. The biggest events include 1. The Festival of Mysteries in Compobasso. This is a large religious procession that takes place on Corpus Domini Day in June, and 2. The Street Art Festival in Civita Campomerano, in June. 3. The Bagpipe Festival in Scapoli, in July, and Number 21. The Food. Being a mountainous region, it's no surprise that the local cuisine consists of meat dishes, for example. 1. Pampanella is pork marinated in chili powder, garlic, and vinegar. 2. Pez zata is tender lamb shoulder served with potatoes and tomatoes, and 3. Torcinelli is grilled or stewed lamb intestines wrapped around lamb liver. And with Molise having a coastline, its cuisine is very varied. The region's staple food is made up of 1. Olives, from which a good quality of oil is produced. 2. Wheat, which has made bread and pasta of this region well known all over the world, such as fasili, pasta, and focaccia di potot, bread. 3. Cacciocavallo cheese, a cow's milk cheese. 4. Pietricatella cheese, made from a mixture of cow, goat and sheep milk. 5. Capricotta pecorino cheese. 6. Numerous cured meats, and a spicy sausage seasoned with chili, garlic, salt and pepper. 7. Black and white truffles. 8. Fish. 9. Desserts, such as a. Waffles with fennel seeds b. Ravioli stuffed with black cherry, and c. Amaretti, almond-flavored soft cookies, and 10. Scat tone, an aperitif made with the cooking water of the pasta, wine and pepper, that served to farmers whilst waiting for their pasta to be cooked at the end of a long day. Number 22. The wine. The local red wine of Molise is Tintilia, made from the local grape of the same name, which also has DOC status. Two-thirds of the region's production is red wine, with other reds such as Biff Erno DOC, made with Montepulciano grapes. The white wines of Biff Erno and Pentro are made with Trebbiano and Folangina grape varieties, respectively. So, there you have it, 22 interesting helpful and fun facts about the Molise region in Italy that I hope you found to be of help and of interest. If you're serious about visiting or working and living in Molise, I highly recommend that you download and read your special guide, you can start a brand new life in Italy. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video. Kindly leave a positive comment in the comments section below. And then, please share with friends. And enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe, and then click the grey bell icon to join. An exclusive club of subscribers, to be notified of all future videos being uploaded. 
Until next time. Ciao for now.